You're still tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on SABC3. Now, for anyone who grows a beard or is at least trying to grow some kind of beard, <laughs> they know that uh, it's not quite that simple. In fact, it takes a bit of work uh, that goes into it to make it uh, look good, to maintain it, to style yeah. it up. And today we're chatting to our own G-man, Graham Richards here, uh, about his go-to look and how he masters it. And of course, joining him uh, as well, we welcome Men's Health South Africa's fashion and grooming editor, Aziz Jacobs, who will be talking to us about beard trends and styles. He's on a video call. Aziz, good to have you with us this morning. How are you? Thanks. How are you guys? Very well, very well. Also a man with an equickly well manicured uh, I beard. I know, we both had, had to As you can shoot do. a quick look to see your, <laughs> your well-kept beard, man. It's always, always great to connect with you and your team. Thanks for, for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Graham, let me start off with you first so and talk to you about... I mean, you're a very busy, busy man. You, you're a, you're a hands-on dad. Uh, you're an entrepreneur. You're a presenter. You're a philanthropist of sorts as well. How do you kind of keep your look going? What is your go-to look? Do you have one of those? I, I really do, and it's taken a while to, to get to this point, and so maybe as easy, you, you can relate to me here, is, but I, I, it got to a point where I realized that I just was always keeping the beard. Yeah. Maybe it was laziness initially that I just didn't want to shave every morning for the, for the show and kept a bit of a beard, but now if I, I've shaven like cleanly once in maybe the last three years and it looks and feels so weird that I'm like, no, I don't want to do it again. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously then you've got to maintain and, and look after it. So for me, it's, you know, it's not really a full beard, but I like to keep a full kind of facial hair kind of thing going, which means you've got to kind of edge it. You've got to look after your, your beard. You've got to take care of the, yeah. the skin underneath it, which I think people um, forget about. But I've gotten it down pat now that it's, it's become like part of my process on a, on a Sunday night before I start the week of on air. I'll go through my beard shaping. I'll do a bit of a trim. Okay. And then once or twice during the week, I might have to do a little bit of a trim. I, I clip it on a three. Number so three. that's okay. kind of the thing. And if I'm wanting yeah. to kind of, you know, uh, really spice things up a little bit, I might go down to a one. But generally, I'm on a three. <laughs> and then I'll use my, my Flex 5, the, the edging blade, to clean it up and nice. and just to neaten it up. But and that's, that's how you create that, that like Aziz, that, that five o'clock shadow. Or well, are we talking uh, six o'clock overhanging Berg <laughs> shadow there? I'm <laughs> yeah. not sure, I'm not sure which category. Moved, I've moved into twilight. This <laughs> into <yeah>. twilight. <laughs> Aziz, what would you say are some of the best beard styles, uh, especially Especially for busy dads like Graham out there. Yeah. Um, I think one thing when it comes to beard, once you start growing it, you become attached to your beard, you know, and it's sure. all about kind of finding a suitable style for you and to suit your personality as well. And I think there's uh, like five beards that's been like trending in 2020. Obviously, like Graham, the short beard, which is very easy to maintain. It's acceptable. It suits most face types. And then we've got obviously the longer, fuller beard, mm -hmm. you know, which you hips to town, which you definitely have to maintain. So it needs some hands on grooming when you sport a longer beard. And then you get the beard stash, obviously, where the mustache is a little bit longer than the beard around your face. And then a very interesting trend that, I, that I've seen guys are trying is the Bulbo beard, which is almost, if you think about Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. and Iron Man. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. So guys are really experimenting with those styles. And then obviously the goatee as well. Are those some of your favourites, Graham, or do you have others on your radar I, as well that you've been working on? Obviously, through this grooming journey, I've been able to meet a lot of guys with a lot of different different beards. So yeah. um, I, I've become quite fond of, like, a full beard. Mm -hmm. um, I really do enjoy it, and I think it's become a lot more um, acceptable now, but it's got to be so well looked after. Yeah. I think yeah. that's yeah. the key thing. It's a fine line between sporting a good full beard and then looking overgrown. And so, like, I often think if you're going to get dressed up and you're going to put a suit on and those final little like touches to your tailoring the same needs to be done to your to your beard so i like a i really like a full beard and mm -hmm. I, I mean i just okay. I, I i don't have the kind of facial hair to grow or i've never i don't know maybe i'm just not brave enough to try a different style like a goatee or a, um you know the the robert downey jr look but um for me i i, I wouldn't mind a, a full beard yeah yeah maybe you should try it. buy buy one of those fake ones and see what it's like just for the weekend look, yeah. whether you can handle it or not. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about because i mean the beard is only but one part yeah. of your look. So how do you go about mastering your look? It's weird. I've been thinking a lot about this because obviously we've been going on this, this journey with Big for a long time and I've, I've had the opportunity to really see what it means to guys to when you kind of 
term master your look. Mm -hmm. So I think the most important thing is take a little bit of time to look after yourself. That, that self-care, it's one of those easy go-to tools to that has a massive payout. So just a little bit of time to make yourself feel a bit better about the way that you look has a huge effect on your confidence, on your outlook on yeah. life. It's amazing. So when other things might be out of your control, just by spending a little bit of time making yourself feel a little bit better about the way that you look can have a massive, profound psychological effect. So that's the, the first thing. Um, look after your skin. Um, you know, maybe it's because I'm at the age <laughs> that I'm at, but you only get one shot at your skin, and that's the thing. So if you <laughs> if you true. mess it up, that's it. Yeah. You can't go back, and you want to age gracefully. Most guys want to kind of go the George Clooney route and age well and, and look better the, the older that Lots they get. And value your <laughs> barber, man. Who would have thought? Look them in the eye. Yeah, who would have thought that we needed our barber so much, man? So make, a, make sure you listen when they talk and value that relationship. <laughs> Aziz, what would you say are some of your top tips when it comes to mastering your look? I mean, you've been part of this journey with this campaign. So basically, it's very important, especially if you have facial hair or if you're first time trying to find a grooming routine, is to invest in the right tools and skincare products. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very important to see a specialist to find out the type of skin that you have and make sure that you're using the right products. It plays a very important role in your grooming routine and you'll definitely see results. And the sooner you start, the better. You know, especially when it comes to beards and if you want to grow a fuller beard, you need the right tool. You need a beard conditioner, a beard cream, or you need a beard brush, which is very important, mm -hmm. depending on the length of your facial hair as well. Mm -hmm. And it's all about my maintaining your beard and maintaining your skin. And like Graham said, if you do have a fuller beard, it needs to be kept well and it needs to be maintained to look yeah. good. Aziz, thanks very much for being part of this journey. It's been awesome gaining insight from you. Uh, we really do appreciate it, man. My pleasure. Now listen up, there is one final 5,000 Rand shopping Ooh. voucher up for grabs for one more lucky viewer. So to stand a chance of winning this last shopping voucher, all you have to do is to reply to the competition post on Expresso's Facebook page or on our Twitter page and tell us how do you embrace your uniqueness using hashtag MasterYourLook. And this week's competition closes at 12 p.m. on Friday the 31st of July, so do get entering. And remember that there is no limit to the amount of times that you can enter. You know, get on just it. saying, putting it out Get there. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Terms and conditions that apply for the competition can be found on our website, expressoshow.com. Master your look with Big Flex.